I can't get up, right? Extension, so keep your way here. Mm -hmm. I wanna extend so he's over there. I've, I've got him out. By the way, I showed a second ago, this is also an option. I could be pushing him away and getting the same position, okay? So x guard is a little bit better for control. So you learn this kind of control because it's not one and done. Like if I do this and he doesn't, and he comes right back, I still have it. Like I can kind of pump this guy back and forth. If you do something like this, you're gonna lose the leg after this. You see that? So now I no, no longer have leg control. So if I do that, I better be up here already. Yeah, and this can give all of I don't know what he's gonna do. So as I start to get up and we get to this position, now we're ready to go. Try to stand up. Watch for your own leg. This guy's funky, he may roll and get your get a knee bar or leg lock on you. So be careful of your own leg. Pull down and get your legs back. As I'm pulling. Okay, here, funky catch wrestling style, pull, leg goes over. Into step over toe hold, I lock my hands. I like crank. that. That's a good one. Don't do this one to your partners. Do that. This kind of control uh, is dangerous for the knee. You guys go here. Um, if you catch him before he turns, if he turns already, he's going to turn to his left. Yeah, like that. Now he's out, and then now you're back into here. Yep. Or it's probably not going to work, but at least you're on top. You sweat. Can you show the bar one? Yeah. I like I pull away. Danny? So I throw my hips underneath, okay? Come up into the X, right? I'll go to here. So I wasn't in Ashiguro under a single leg X. Come back in here. Extension, stand up. I'm trying to pull Danny, but Danny's like, it's tough. I'm like, oh, this guy wants to expose his leg. Ah, and then lock right into it. Now I'm controlling the heel. Place it on the bottom side. Finish, okay? Alright, you guys ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 Going deep. It's good, but it's not the same. You resist, resist, it's like so hard. Yeah. Now you just the bone. Put the bone right there. Now try that same resistance. And Nick's gonna be like, yeah. put, it, put the bone low into the back of the knee. Yeah. Now, and now pull him around. So I'm in charge of what on the metal table. Yeah, yeah. 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 Gather up that knee, make sure the knee's inside. Control the heel. Okay, you're gonna go heel hook. But it's more like, if you want knee bar, you're not gonna put it in the arm, it's gonna be up by your neck. And then there you go, grab onto that heel so you have heel control. And then, we're, we ideally, we wanna be flat on our back. You can still do it, because you guys are about the same size. If he was a bigger man, it's really hard to break the leg. Roll on the side, figure out a side that you can go to. Nice, now you always put it on the bottom side. Put, on the, put his foot on the bottom side, pinch it with the knee, grab the heel and pull as you arch. So this, grab the heel with the left hand. With the left hand, grab the heel. And then pull it like this, like you're trying to take this elbow here. You're trying to and pinch with your neck. Slight resistance, like this is good, right? But then when I can put this here, and see how I'm holding it with my neck? Now I pull the heel oh, like this, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so then it'll intensify everything you do. That's crazy. Instead of, so you have a little bit of twisting knee lock added to the knee bar. That's crazy. Bone in the back of the leg. Yeah, there you go. Nice grip up with the radius. Nice sweep. That's okay. Pass the glove. So this, this will be this. That this is good. I really like. You no, know, it's like karate. You know, like, oops. You know, or you can have like a bicep, like a rear naked choke grip, coach twist. Would this be okay? Like That's fine. I again, like the more common one is like this one. A lot of people do this rear naked choke and grab heels. That one's good. See that? It's like he's rear naked. You're rear naked choking the leg, and then you add in a pull of the heel. I personally like heel and push. I put my hands on my little karate 
karate uh, pose. Uh, I don't know, what do we call that in karate? Anybody uh, do karate? When you, when you bow in, like, yes, sensei. Yeah, what is this? Yes. Honor. Honor. Honor, Honor the knee by respect, yes. by breaking it. Oh, shit. Just kidding. I like it. So, um, but again, sometimes that does, it's just not there. So you just hug it, you know? Um, <laughs> last time, do, do it one more time. We, we have to understand that the, if the, the, the knee is pointing where the toes are pointing, you see that? No matter where I turn my, my foot, wherever my toes point, my knee points. Um, very few human beings can, can change that. They're crazy flexible, but it's basically true. Now he's gonna pull and he sits in the knee bar. So look, stay right there. So you see, you see there are the knees. So what is Mick's course of action to stay out of the knee bar? Turn his foot, right? Mm -hmm. So immediately, I'm grabbing that big toe with my right hand. Uh, go back, go back. I'm gonna, my right hand's gonna slap the side of the big toe, just like that, and then back, no, no, like this. Yes, like man. that. And now the, the moment that you move your head back, you're grabbing the heel with your left hand. Yeah, but but in a in a side push, ah. like this. So guys, we used to call this a steering wheel because we can steer the guy wherever we want. Mm -hmm. So we're, imagine, I don't want you to do this fast or right. hard, but imagine if you just went like this really fast and hard. It would it would mess his leg up, Right. you know? Oh, do so, so as he, but it's a controlling point. So now he's controlling the foot, he's staring at the toes now. And now he's like, all right, place the toes on the bottom side. Now the neck takes over for the right hand and the left hand comes over to grab and pull. Yeah, but don't leave your left hand. Mm -hmm. So keep your left hand where it was on the heel. No, go back. Go back to the, this, the steering wheel. So your left hand's pushing, right? right? Place it on the bottom side and the right hand just double up on it. Double, yes. And now what you have is you have a push and a pull, a rotation, the yeah. Mikey lock that was always around and you pull and arch. Yeah, that seems nasty right. on his leg. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. I like it. Is that the whole concept? I'm going home. I'm over. You have another beer here? Yeah. One more time. Yeah, it's just, I, I think some people, they don't know that leg locks were not invented in the last five years. So, anyway, leg locks have been around. I like that one. Okay. Yeah, there, there could be nuances though. There could be nuances like, I think he's but, got a system around. Yeah, yeah. And there, there's always gonna be nuance. There's gonna be people that are gonna come up with small little details to improve the movements. But in general, the basics were, are, have been around for centuries probably. And uh, actually longer than that, probably millennia, right? We just don't, we don't have the records. So anyway, you guys can choose what you like though. But in general, what do we need for the knee bar? Toes facing us, the knees facing us, okay? Again, most of the time, I like to, as a rule, even though rules, sometimes you break them and it's good to break them, but as a rule, put it on the bottom side, pinch it with your neck, twist the heel towards the upside as you arch in general. But certainly it could just be a nice, strong grip and a pull. That works too. Uh, Brock Lesnar, Frank Mir. You know, he didn't, he didn't have time in that situation to like go, all right, let me see if I can fix this knee bar, get it up on my neck, grab the heel, do all that, no. He had the knee bar position. He feels it. He's wearing a cup. It's MMA. I got the cup on your kneecap. Sometimes it's worse when you get it right on, you get the cup on the kneecap instead of a deeper knee bar where you're like on the quad. Just go ahead and lay down. So if I'm here and I have a knee bar, look where my crotch is. It's actually above his knee. So this is great. You know, I've got that, that position I'm talking about right now. But imagine if I'm wearing a cup and I slide a little bit out and I'm right there on the kneecap, he takes his le uh, leg and he starts stomping on your butt to get his knee out. But now you're at the end of the lever. Look where the foot is. It's not ideal, but man, when you're a heavyweight and you just wrap right here and go like this. Even ah! That's scary, that's scary. I don't know that part. Yeah, and that cup's gonna go right in that kneecap. It's, it's brutal. So we try, we try to teach technique, but that is technique. It's, it, you gotta know when to go for the kill. And sometimes it's not point, aim, perfect position with your gun. Sometimes it's pull it out and aim and shoot because it's, it's a kill. So you just gotta go for it, okay? 
Let's get some, uh, get a little swig of water and we'll come back and we'll train live. Let's go, one, two, three. I thought that was something, I don't know, maybe. <laughs>